scary, weird feelings and vibes. A man died in very mysterious, strange circumstances. That's creepy. Oh my god. I feel very uncomfortable down here. Seeing the shadow person or shadow figure going past the kitchen. Ew, what the frick is that? And there's nothing there. Inside his room, there was like a... It weirds me out down here. Don't be shy to come and say hello to us. And what the is that? Didn't like it down there. Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are checking out the Mari Hotel in South Australia. We're going to be conducting a paranormal investigation here because there are so many people that have had rather frightening ghostly experiences here in this hotel. So stay tuned. The Mari Hotel sits in one of the most remote areas of South Australia. It has existed there since the creation of this small town in 1883. The building has quite a history and has seen a number of deaths over the years. Today, some visitors and staff claim the old hotel to be haunted, with many having claimed to have unexplainable experiences there. In this episode, we will spend the night at the Mari Hotel in order to reach out to its ghosts and collect possible evidence of an actual haunting. Alright, Crypt Keepers. Here we are, inside the Mari Hotel, sitting on its grand stairs. Mm, they are quite nice, actually. <laughs> we love this place, so this is the second time we've been out here, but this is the first time we've ever spent the night here. And when we rocked up today, I knew that there had been some paranormal activity, but talking to the staff about experiences the staff have had, as well as some of their guests, was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they had a fair few ghost stories to share. Yeah, so tonight we're spending the night in room number six. And I've been told that there was allegedly a hanging in there a long time ago. Is that in room six? Yeah, that's what oh, they said. Cool. And there's also been some strange things to happen to people in room six. One of those is uh, a, a woman claimed that there was a man in the room with her mm. and he sat on her bed. Now, I don't know if she actually like saw him like his apparition his ghost or it was more just like the sensation of knowing that someone is sitting on the bed with like you she's seen like the blanket and seeing the indent kind of thing but i think that that's extremely creepy now i did a little bit of um digging myself and i did find um before coming here a newspaper article that said that a man died in very mysterious strange circumstances in 1919. Basically, he rolled into town at the Mari railway station, which is just outside, which we've also investigated, and you guys have already seen it on my channel. I'm gonna link the video below if you guys wanna check that video out. But he rocks up on a cattle train, checks into the hotel, found dead the next day. He was kind of like drunk, they reckon, when he sort of rocked up, like intoxicated, but he, um, inside his room, there was like a Small bottle of poison. What was that? I don't know what that was. <laughs> inside his room, there was like a. S inside his room, there was like a. S inside his room, there was like a. S there was a bottle of. Um we'll explore and see in a minute. Yeah. There was a bottle of poison found on the table where he was, but there was also like traces of that poison on the floor and around his mouth, and it was. It's commonly used in like pesticides to call like kill uh, small creatures. It comes in like a white powder. I don't know if it was like really a suicide where he got it from or, or like what maybe? the deal was, but he did die here. So could it, he could have either? I reckon it's either suicide. Well, it was either a suicide or maybe he poisoned him. Maybe he was poisoned, mm -hmm. or maybe he was drunk and mistakenly drunk a bottle of like, ooh, poison. This looks yum. <laughs> thinking that it was alcohol. Yeah, I don't know. So that's uh, a death that I was able to find here. But interestingly, uh, staff have said, and you know, they don't really like upstairs. Upstairs is a little bit eerie, maybe scary, weird feelings and vibes. And they said the most common like paranormal thing to happen here is people see a woman upstairs. No idea who she is. Maybe we'll be able to find out tonight. I'm not sure. Mm. Woman upstairs. They've had things move down here. So they said that um, wine glasses have moved on their own, like almost oh, been yeah. like thrown off the bench or whatever. 
And there's been something weird in the kitchen area as well. We just well. heard something before as well, but it sounded like it came Coming from Coming from way. the kitchen area. Yeah. I think it was uh, someone sighted like a shadowy person yeah. making their way through. So there's been a number of strange things happen here. Now the Mari Hotel, it is very, very remote out here guys. Like it, we're in the middle of South Australia, like pretty much in the middle of Australia. Maybe yeah. I'll overlay a map. <laughs> we are so remote. like. I don't think a lot of people come out here to investigate. I think if you're in South Australia or you're nearby like, and you get the chance to, this is a beautiful hotel and Mari is such a, a cool town. Everyone's been really nice as well. Oh, so lovely. And you've got the cool Haunted Railway station and the trains out there. Like, and the Haunted Hotel. And the hotel will stay here. Yeah, it, it's just interesting to, like if other investigators like pick up evidence as well so we can all add on to our, our findings. But spending the night in room six, maybe we'll do some stuff down here. But yeah, I kind of want to show you guys around. Do a bit of a tour. Yeah, are you excited? Mm. This place is so cool, yeah. I love it. Alright, right, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright guys, this is what we are greeted with as soon as we walk into the Mari Hotel. So, through here. We have the gorgeous staircase. This is a beautiful old building. It actually dates back as pretty much as old as Mari is at the time it was surveyed, which was 1883. This was the first building built here in town. So it's like kind of like the most important building, I guess, if you want to say that, that exists today. There's a lot, a lot of history here. There's also a lot of history surrounding Mari and some like weird, strange things such as this. This is like obviously like a t-shirt, but it's displaying this thing called the Mari Man. It's quite well known, quite famous. So you can see this, what's it called? A geoglyph of this dude. And this is actually etched into the landscape here. And it's so big that you can only see this shape from the from air. So you need to go on like a scenic flight to kind of see him. And there was a lot of mystery as to like who the heck carved this guy into the landscape but they reckon it was man-made by some American dude that came over and they found clues like he left little notes or something about doing it but I just thought that was interesting alongside that these are two gothic coins so basically these were found during renovations in 2018 but the coins themselves date back to the like early to mid 1800s they're actually called florins and they were found kind of like behind a windowsill. So it was like they were either there from when the hotel was built in 1883 or they fell down during, you know, a guest was staying there and they, they lost their, you know, pocket money, their lunch money down the windowsill uh, through here. But there's so much history to this hotel, so much history to Mari and this, this place does a pretty good job of encapsulating that. So if you visit, check this room out. Obviously it's a dining room, but it's also like a gallery. So they tell you a lot about, you know, the Aussie history and, you know, of the area. And it's just really cool to read all this stuff. There's even more history in this room. Now, I want to show it to you guys. Nothing really paranormal, but a lot of people enjoy the history that I provide on uh, my channel. So this room is basically a museum dedicated to Tom Cruise. Not, not the Tom Cruise you're thinking of. <laughs> this is Tom Cruise, Cruise with a K. This guy's pretty much a local legend. So he did the mail route from like the Birdsville track down here to Mari. And for anyone watching that's curious, maybe you're a, a mailman, mail lady yourself, 700 kilometers, that was his route. So like this room's dedicated to him and he's just like, local badass really. Tom Cruise ain't said to haunt this place so we're probably not going to reach out to him but I wanted to tell you anyway about him just because it's cool. Now we also have this back dining hall. I don't know that anything paranormal has kind of happened in here. I feel like this is like a newer part and maybe all this stone here on the wall is older and like these look like historic mining tools. Right? Mm. Yeah. But this is where that noise came from. So just through here is the kitchen, which we can't get into. But from my understanding, like someone seeing the shadow person or shadow figure going past the kitchen, it's this is past the kitchen, right? So maybe it was this area that they saw them. We heard, I don't know what we heard. We heard like a loud clank or clash. I don't know <laughs> what the best descriptor for that is. But this was like where it came from. 
inside his room there was like a s maybe something in the kitchen like a fridge or something maybe i can't get in there to check like or maybe like um like an ice machine yeah maybe an ice machine i know okay, they we'll do have a bar in the front though like which would make more sense for an ice machine i don't we'll know. keep a listen out for later y'all want to go upstairs one thing that kind of gets me coming up these stairs is the mirrors here and here. Yeah. They're like, they look old and aged as well. I always think like mirrors are interesting because you hear of them being like portals, but also like if this is a very old mirror, think of all the people that have gazed into it like over the years and I don't know, check themselves out as they're coming up the stairs. <laughs> I know that's what I do. This painting school. So there's a lot of rooms up here, but I've heard that like room six is the place to be. And when I spoke to the staff here at the Mari Hotel, and I was like, I'm coming because I'm I want to look for the ghosts. They were like, we put you in room six. So Please don't mind like all our stuff spoiled out everyone. Uh, it's a pretty big room. We've got this like epic fireplace in here as well. So it's got that really just like old Victorian kind of feeling to it. The balcony is through here. The floors are really quick. That's so creepy. Unfortunately, we can't get out on the balcony because it's unstable at the moment. But yeah, people, um, that lady said that she felt or saw a man sit on the bed with her, like. So that would have happened right there. Well, I mean, I don't know which bed it was. <laughs> There's three in here. Well, but if she was sitting, I don't know, that would, for someone to. I pictured this bed. Yeah, I pictured well. this one. Well, I mean, you can sleep on that side. Well, you don't know. You could have sat on this side. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. This place is pretty cool. I think that maybe we'll head downstairs to start reaching out. Um, and then maybe we can come up here a bit later and uh, reach out in our room. Yeah, I mean, guess what? What? I got a surprise for you. What? What is it? Earlier on when you were getting ready, the staff Gave me a quick little tour and they showed me an extra bonus room that we can enter. Where? Turn right. Other right. Yeah, that Where? way. Turn yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> and then go down here. Turn right. And stop. Turn right. Oh, uh, what is this? What do you think it is? Under the stairs? Down. Yes, it is the Ooh. cellar. What? Spider. It's in my oh. head. Maybe. The cellar. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta go down there. <laughs> Alright. That's creepy. Let's um let's set up the ghost tube SLS on the stairs monitoring this area. And then we'll be and you go down there. Okay. That's such a good surprise, Jared. I love it. <laughs> Alright guys, we've just set up a ghost tube SLS so you should see skeleton on me. And we're pretty much monitoring this stair area. Um, I put a cat ball, which basically lights up if it's physically moved, in front of the kitchen. I put two up the stairs and a REM pod, which goes like this. So if there is anyone here, you want to let us know that you're around and you want to talk to us, we would love that. Can you come towards the kitchen, the stairs, this area, this couch? If you touch any of these balls, we'll know you're here. If you come towards this red light, like so, we will know you're here. But if you're a bit scared of us, we'll leave you be for a little while. Okay, we're going to the basement. Okay. I don't want to go.
go down. <laughs> Might need to move this chair out of the way. Uh, for okay. safety reasons. Now the coast is clear, I've moved this chair and I've wedged the door open because I don't want to freaking get stuck down there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Good call. Cool. You can yeah. tell we've been watching all the horror movies. Oh, all the horror movies. It's got that like damp, musty sort of smell. Isn't this eerie? Ooh. Like, there's a curtain here? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wonder how big it is down here. Yeah, we have not been down here yet. What was your head? Okay. It's a basement. I don't think there's anything under the floor, is there? Uh, big drop. I need light, Jared. This is a beam. What the fudge, man? These are like just, I can hear them just like shifting as I. Yeah. What? <laughs> Me. <laughs> 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 Cobwebs or something. Is that stone? That's stone. And it's like crystallized. Yeah, I can see the floor here. Okay, so you So if we drop, floor. you're gonna drop like that far. Still though, we don't want to damage the floor. Yeah. Looks like they don't use it in And what the f is that? Looks like a window. Yeah. It's been filled in. Looks like a window. Oh, you know what it might be? What's that? To like, get um, like kegs down and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know though. And what are these hooks doing? I don't know. Is this safe in here? I don't know if it's just because it's like underground and it looks very scary. <laughs> but it weirds me out down here. And you know, one of the reasons why I say that as well is because this is an old hotel. As I said, it was the first building built here in Mari. We're very remote, we're not near anything. Typically the underground cellar areas of these old pubs were used as morgues. I don't know, and I can't say for sure that this one was, but it's an eerie fort when you come down here and you're just like, Place where they might have stored dead bodies. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I don't think the I don't think the um, people that work here said that it was, but I know other pubs like this have. Yeah, so I, I can't tell you for sure that that is the case, but why it, did they do that anyway? Why did they store them at pubs in the basement? I think especially in Australia, it's so damn hot. Like coming underground, you know, it's much cooler. So it's just it, the body will keep better, you know, down here. And they used it back in those days because it's not like they had refrigerated morgues around the place or or anything like that to deal with the bodies before they could be buried or dealt with whatever it was that was going to happen with them and now i'm just like looking into this room it's completely pitch black and i'm like Ooh. <laughs> it's definitely got um blair witch project basement vibes yes like imagine if you came down here and i was just like in the corner like <laughs> we always reference horror movies. Uh, yeah. You know what? Why are we down here? Do you want to do a ghost tube? Sure. Okay. I've got night vision as well. Should we do that? Should we just do it in this bit so that we don't risk damaging the floor? I yeah. think we should. Okay. While we were underground in the basement, we left the ghost tube SLS app monitoring the front lobby and staircase of the Mari Hotel. While the camera did not map any figures, it did pick up something that was extremely strange. Here, the camera appears to be hit, which you can clearly hear and even visibly see. This was not the only strange event this camera would pick up that night. 
I just now hit record on a ghost tube session. My, my name is Amy. I'm here with Jared. We've come here to talk to anyone who may be in the Mari Hotel. I don't know if there is anybody down here, but if there is, or anywhere else in the hotel, please feel welcome to make your presence known to us, communicate with us, show yourself to us. One way that you can show yourself to us is coming close to the lights in my hands. If you get very close to them, you might be able to show me that you're here. Maybe you can come close and say something very loud. If you come to the light and speak to it very loud, maybe you can tell me your name. I don't know if like my hair is touching my face, spider web or I just... Can you make a noise for us? Maybe you can tap on something. Sorry, I just had to rub my eye. You okay? Yeah, I just had to rub my eye. Can you point the camera in that room? Because I bet it looks really spooky on the night vision. Don't be shy to come and say hello to us. We're very friendly. We're very interested to know if there is somebody here still. We don't know if you used to live here. Maybe you worked here. Maybe you just visited for a short time and you're Kevin. still- Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Kevin's not ringing a bell for any of the names that I know that are associated with the building, whether it's like previous owners or the person that did die here. So there's no Kevin? There may be, I mean... None I, that you know of. I didn't know about someone being hanged. Um, and maybe, you know, who knows who Kevin could be. Kevin is your name, can you tell me how long you have been here for? Can you tell me what happened to you here at the Mari Hotel? What was this room down here used for? This second click is extremely interesting. For reference, the camera is firmly held in place on a tripod using a clamp-like clip. I did think there was a possibility the phone could have shifted if not clicked into the clamp properly. Yet the chance of this happening twice seemed pretty unlikely. What do you think could have caused this to happen twice? Leave a comment below. If there is somebody down here, can you make a loud noise for me now? If you make a loud noise for me now, I will stay down here with you. Otherwise, I'm going to move to a different area of the hotel. Kevin, if you are here. I feel very uncomfortable down here, like... I don't necessarily think it's paranormal, it's just... 
I don't know, maybe it might be. I just feel like there's like crap all over me, like all over my body. Cobwebs. It could be. Like, it definitely could be. But like, I touch myself and there's, there's nothing there. Like, it could be just in my like head as well. Like or something? Just like there's something on my skin. Like, yeah, like a cobweb, like very light. But almost feels like it's just like touching me. And then I'm like, ugh, what the frick is that? And there's nothing there. Like... I probably have walked through cobwebs numerous times tonight, or not probably, I have. <laughs> so maybe it's just like in my head. If you're touching me, you better make a really loud noise right now to let me know. How did you like the basement? I didn't like it down there. Like, I, um, Amy left me and came back upstairs and left me down there just to get some panning, like some, you know, B-roll. Some B-roll. And yeah, I didn't want her to leave, like, here. Yeah. <laughs> I made her talk to me the whole time. I'm just gonna make an observation. You were just scratching your arms then? Yeah, I do feel itchy. Do you feel like there's crap all over you? No, it's hard to tell. I just feel really. I have. I did spray all like bug spray on me before, so I think I just feel a bit, a bit itchy. Maybe we feel the same because like I just feel like yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was weird down there. Really weird. It's obvious. Uh, obviously, obviously, don't use it. It's so creepy. So like, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> We're spending the night in room number six. He had like traces of the poison around his mouth. Poison. <gasps> I didn't want to be left down there alone. Staying on there too. There we go. How crazy was that noise? There's been a man to come in here and sit on the bed with them. What heard that? Heard that? All over my legs now, <laughs> like just. So you know what guys, I think this has been like a pretty interesting start to our night, but we have a lot more that we want to do kind of upstairs because I've heard that that is the scariest kind of place that people just get the weird vibes, most of the ghost sightings and the, the ghostly phenomena has kind of like happened up there. So Jared and I are going to head to room six and continue our investigation, but you'll see that in part two. So make sure that you're subscribed, have your notification bell turned on as well so that you don't miss part two or any of my other videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really helps me out. You can do more reading on the Mari Hotel and other haunted places I visited on my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me. I'm at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I also post bonus content on my YouTube memberships and my Patreon, which I have linked below. Also, I just want to shout out my friends, Paranormal Quest. I'm repping their merch because I love their videos. Those guys are really genuine, nice people. So go check out their YouTube channel. Say hi, say that I sent you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.